Step 7, adding images and folders to our module.palette file. In this step, we're going to build the visual component of our module. Now we need to open up the wire sheet for our module.palette file. In your nav pane, expand My File System. Expand C Drive or the drive that you created your module in. Click on My Library to open it in the main window, and then click on Sample Module to open it and then double click on module.palette file to open it in the wiresheet view. Now in the nav pane, navigate back to the My Modules directory and expand the sample modules jar file. Now expand the res directory to expose the contents of the directory. The first object we're going to add to our palette file is an icon folder. I could have used an unrestricted folder, but I wanted an icon in the root of the module. To add an icon folder to your wiresheet, go to the sidebar icon at the top of your workbench, click on it, and then select Palette from the drop-down menu. In the Baja module, you will find the icon folder. Drag a copy of it onto your wiresheet, and then give it a name of My Module. Highlight the folder, then right click, select View, then Property Sheet to view the property sheet. In the nav pane, find the bs.png file. Highlight it, right click, select Copy. This will copy the path to the image in the module. In the property sheet for our icon folder, select the image path and then paste the new path in the dialog box. At the bottom of the property sheet, select Save to save the new path to our icon. In the top row of icons in the Workbench toolbar, select the Save Bog File icon to save the changes to our bog file. From the breadcrumb trail, select the module.palette to switch back to the wiresheet view for our palette. Notice the image in the corner of the folder. This image will appear in the root of our palette for our module. Click on the icon folder to view its wiresheet. Now let's add a directory to our module. From the Baja palette, drag out an unrestricted folder onto the wiresheet. Name it Green Icons. We'll need a second unrestricted folder for the Mist directory. So from the Baja palette, drag out another unrestricted folder and name it Miss. On your keyboard, press the Control and T button at the same time to open up a second tab. Now we're going to navigate to the Workbench's uh, trash directory. Uh, we're going to create a PX page so that we can use it to create our image labels. From the nav pane, expand My File System, then Sys Home, and then scroll down to the trash directory. Expand the trash directory, then highlight it, right click, select New PX Page, and select OK. Now scroll down and find the new PX page we just created, and then double click on it. Now put the PX page into edit mode by selecting the toggle mode button from the main menu bar. Navigate back to the sample module in the My Modules directory. Under the RES directory in our sample module, expand the Green Icons directory, and then expand the Home directory. Highlight the three images in the Home directory and drag them onto the PX page. In doing this, we've created three bound labels with our three images. To add them to our palette file, highlight them, right-click, select Copy. Click on the My Modules tab to go back to our palette file. Double click on the green icon folder to view its wiresheet. 
then right click and select paste. Highlight the first label and right click and select rename. Give it a name of home underscore 45. This name will appear in our palette for this image label. Now we'll do the same for the other two labels. Now let's take a look at the property sheet for the Home 55 image label. Highlight it, right click, from View, select Property Sheet. In the image path I see an issue. The local colon should not be in the path. Let's use the directory selector to look at the correct path. Select the Home 55 image and then Open. And as you can see the correct path starts with Module. Select Save at the bottom of the property sheet to save the correct path. We will need to correct the path in the other two home images as well. Select my module from the breadcrumb trail, then select the MIST directory to view the wire sheet. Click the PX tab to select it, then in the nav pane select the MIST directory to expand it. Then highlight the images in the MIST directory and drag them onto the PX page. Select both of the label images and copy them, then paste them into the MIST directory tab. Highlight label 1. Right click, go to rename, and name it Pull Station. Rename the second label Thermometer. Select my module from the breadcrumb trail and then select the green icon directory to view the wire sheet. Now we're going to create a home button with mouse overs using the home images in the green icons directory. In the palette pane select the kit px jar file. Drag an action button onto the green icons wire sheet. Rename it home. Double click on the home button to view the property sheet. In the nav pane Navigate to the home directory and copy the path to the home 50 image. In the image property sheet, in the image path, paste the path to the home 50 image. Now scroll down the property sheet to find the button style. Use the drop down box to select none. In the normal dialog box, paste the path to the home 50 image. In the mouse over dialog box, paste the path to the home 45 image. Then copy the path to the home 55 image and paste it in the press dialog box. Now select the save button at the bottom of the property sheet to save our button. Now go to the breadcrumb trail and select the green icon directory. To ensure that our button is going to be the correct size, copy the image button, go to the PX tab, and paste it. And as you can see our button needs a little adjustment. Now 
Now that I have the button just the way that I want it, I'll copy it and paste it back onto the green icons wire sheet. And there you have it, an image button with mouse over effects. Close the green icons wire sheet and take the PX page out of edit mode. From the main menu, select File, then Save All. In the pop-up window, select Save Checked. This will save our BOG file and the changes that we made to the module.palette file. In this step, we created our palette file. We added images, directories, and a button. Step 8, final module build. In this step, we're going to complete our image module by doing the final build, and then we're going to explore what we've created. Now it's time to do the final build of our module. Click in the console window at the bottom of the workbench to get a cursor. If your console window is not open, press F3 to open it. In the console window, type the keyword build, and then the path to your module. My path was C colon backslash my library backslash sample module. On your keyboard, press the Enter key to start the build process. Once the build process is complete, you should see success. If you do not see the word success in the output window, check your path and then try the build again. Now that the build process is complete, we must close the workbench and then reopen it to see the changes we've made to our module. Once you have workbench reopened, navigate to the palette pane and click on the open directory icon to find our sample module. Highlight the sample module and click the OK button at the bottom of the window to open it. If you take a look at the palette pane, the first item you see is the icon fold that we've created, displaying the bs.png file. Expand my module and you see the two unrestricted folders that we use to create the two directories, the green icons and the mist directory. Expand the green icons directory and you can see the three image labels and the action button that we created. Of course you can preview the images and the button in preview mode by clicking on them. And that concludes on how to create an image jar file using the Niagara AX workbench.